All right, man. Twitch it up. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Torture Talk. We back here in the morning, you know what I'm saying? 8 a.m. show. Look, man, look, man, look, man, look, man. So Rory and Maul has talked about the J. Cole verse. And this is a very interesting conversation between Rory and Maul. And I want to give my commentary on it. So before I do that, you know, this is Torture Talk. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you're on the fence, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. I see a lot of ones now. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen. Cash App, PayPal is in the description. I'm the hidden gem, man. I'm actually not hidden anymore, but we're going to still roll with the hidden gem. Went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12, 11, was it? 11,000. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. 11,000 subscribers. So, and let me know where you're from too, man. So we're going to get right into this clip, man. No more waiting, no more talking. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so let's get it. Cole said, I pulled the plug because I've seen where that was about to go. They wanted blood. They wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. J. Cole wants clicks and he wants his pockets to grow as well. Okay, but have you not also... Now see, let me stop that right there. I have a huge problem with that. Now that I listened to the verse a couple of times... I have a huge problem with that because what J. Cole is insinuating here is that Drake and Kendrick wanted to make money off this beef. And I don't think that that was the case. I, I absolutely 100% do not think that that was the case. Even on Drake's side, I don't think it was the case. I don't think they were looking for clips and clips and views for to make their pockets grow. I don't believe that. So I think J. Cole was being, being very disingenuous when he said that. So let's keep it going. He said that this was Kendrick's biggest moment. It is. And that he, this is kind of his it was trick Cole's throughout his, his years. It was Cole's biggest doing, moment too. Talk to that. What was Cole's biggest moment? This battle. This would have been when? Cole's biggest moment as well. Oh, that's hypothetical. We don't know. Oh, we know. He put a record out. That was not Cole's big, seven minute drill was not Cole's biggest moment. By black. Bro, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Look, bro, he participated in the battle. He participated in the battle, nigga. He did. You cannot say he didn't. He was the first one to set it off. The first one to set it off before Drake did. He participated. You cannot, you cannot excuse that. Can't excuse it. Not this even battle, close. this 2014 moment, Forest Hills Drive was his biggest. This moment. battle, this moment was Cole's biggest moment as a rapper. You're saying it could have been if he participated. So he didn't participate. Yes, and then he stepped out based off the exact <laughs> combo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, he participated, nigga. You can't, no, yo. I'll tell you, man. If there's one thing I could count on. It's Drake and J. Cole fans, boy. I tell you, these niggas could do no wrong, man. Let's keep it going. You have had with me. Did he participate? <sighs> if that means I got to dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bots just to sway the whole thing on social media competing for your favorable memes. This is the same shit you have said, which I have agreed with you when it came to Kendrick. You even, even came on here and talked about fake views with Spotify and connections behind the scenes. Everything Cole is saying about Kendrick, you have said. And he said he didn't want to participate in this battle because that's what it was. But he's not. I, but see, again, he's not only saying that about Kendrick. He's saying that about both of them, not Kendrick. And on top of that, that's not confirmed. We don't know if that's actually true. And he's going off what he heard on the Internet. And on top of that, you should know better because the dude from Spotify came out and said that that's not true. So why are you even saying this? It's crazy. This is crazy. I think you guys have the exact but he, same opinion. But he participated. Before he knew what it was going to become. He participated. Mm -hmm. He put a song out. He had bars directed at Kendrick, dissing his discography, calling his albums lackluster. Mm -hmm. He participated in the beef. I agree. So what are we talking about here? And he, <laughs> What is all of this? And he <laughs> Yo, I'll tell you, bro. This is great. 
He did participate in the beef. He did. I mean, listen, y'all already know how I feel about Maul, but he's 100% right on this. You can't get around it. J. Cole did participate. Y'all trying to act as if because he stepped out and apologized and stepped out. Nah, bro, you said it all. And now what you're doing is, this is what, this is what I mean by J. Cole, right? I fucks with J. Cole heavy. Don't get me wrong. But you got to call a spade a spade sometimes, right? You got to call it out. This is the bullshit, right? So let me get this right. You, you stepped out of the beef. You stepped out. You apologized and did all that said. Oh, take it on the chin. Then, from what Rory is saying, you insinuate that Kendrick was buying bots and using bots uh, to, to come at Drake with, with through memes and bots. So wait, let me get this right. So why are you even speaking on it? You said you you blacked out of it. So now you got something to say about it now? Why not just say, why not, <coughs> excuse me, why not just address Drake like you did? You didn't even have to say nothing about Kendrick because you already addressed Kendrick when you backed out of the battle. Who wanted, who wanted blood? Who wanted to see somebody get hurt? What are we talking about here? The same thing. This the is same, rapping. The same thing. Oh, someone got shot. The same thing you and Drake also said at the end of Heart Part 6. Like, this shit is played out, bro. Why you keep doing this shit? It's weird. It's done. Stop with all this. Is the same reason Cole backed out. The same reason you hate. Bro, that's not, that's not the reason why uh, Drake backed out. And that's not the same reason why Cole backed out. That's two different reasons why. Cole backed out because he said he couldn't sleep at night and his stomach was hurting and he had to apologize because it wasn't sitting right on his conscience. That's why Cole backed out. Essentially, he said that's why he backed out. But Drake backed out because Drake said the shit was getting burnt out and he didn't want to really participate no more. And he and me personally, because he was getting fucking whopped. Wop, 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 nigga. That's what happened to him. That's why he backed out. Now you sitting here saying that they both backed out for the, for the same reason. Like, get the fuck, get up out of here, man. Get out of here, Roy. You gotta chill, bro. That battle and feel like Drake won because Kendrick made up some lies and did weird shit is the reason why Cole backed out. That's not the reason Cole backed out. <laughs> yo, I swear to God, I swear on everything. When, yo, this is the, this is the, Real definition of mental gymnastics. You can see it right there. Right there with Rory. Right there. That's mental gymnastics at its finest. I'm telling you. Stop it. It's not the reason. Why do you think he backed out? Why do I think he backed out? Mm -hmm. I think he backed out because that song he put out didn't land. It didn't hit as hard as he thought it would. I think that was a test that he put his foot in the water to test the temperature. And he backed out. This he didn't want no part of it. Of course, this podcast. But now you can't recorded, sit here. So. You can't sit here and say, "Oh, they wanted blood. Who wanted blood? We wanted to see y'all rap. Nobody wanted to see nobody get hurt. Somebody, of nobody course, not. See nobody fight. I don't, I don't think Cole. So, is right, so now I, I'm going to say this. I agree. I agree with Maul again. I don't believe that the intentions was to get anybody hurt. Now I will say this. I will say this. Kendrick warned Drake and and. We see we speak it in hypotheticals because we speak it in metaphor terms, not hypothetical, but metaphor metaphorically. When Kendrick said, uh, "You speak on a family, you, you, you are you gonna bleed?" That's what he's saying. He was speaking hypothetic, I mean, um, metaphorically when he said that because he was basically saying like, "I'm gonna make you bleed with do this, do this music." That's what he was saying. Now I get that. You know what I'm saying? Because it is what it is. But what Rory's trying to uh, say is. This was they, J. Cole backed out because he didn't want to be a part of the beef because he felt like this was going to go somewhere and somebody was going to get hurt. And my thing is, even if that was the case, right? Even if that was the case, then why not just say, nah, bro, y'all both my friends, y'all got to stop this. Why not do that? But, but you took an opportunity to put a, a song out. It didn't hit as hard as you thought it was or thought it did. You know what I'm saying? Then somebody approached you i.e. schoolboy Q, he approached you and probably, he probably warned you and said, look, you don't want to get involved. This is between them two. And you said, you know what? All right, cool. And you went out and said, damn, that, that really hurt me. I can't, I gotta, I gotta apologize to Dot. He apologized to Dot, and what happened? Now you, now we hear, fast forward, we hear now, and now you're trying to say Dot was buying, uh, buying bots and, and, and uh, making memes. 
Like, come on, bro. What are we doing? So, that so it, hold on. It's a metaphor. I don't hold think on. it's a so hold on. legitimate blood. So hold on. This is what he's saying, though. Mm -hmm. Y'all wanted this for clicks and views. You want clicks and views, too, nigga. You, you put a song out. You posted a song on YouTube. You want clicks and views as well. In response so I don't to know the, what that like means. that. I don't know, I don't know what that means. Y'all just want clicks and views. You want clicks and views as well. Everybody wants clicks and views. But there's a difference between clicks and views when it comes to something having value. Like yeah, when somebody steps on your bar, shit's on your bar, shit's on your verse. I believe as a rapper. I'm hearing, bro. I can't believe this, bro. I can't. I can't do this no more. I can't. I can't do this. I can't, bro. I cannot do this. So let me get this right. <laughs> let me get this right. So when it comes to J. Cole, he ain't doing it for clicks and views, even though he was the one that set the battle off. He set it off. Because Kendrick, Kendrick basically warned them. He said what he said. But the response... The, sh the, the response came from, well, I even go as far as saying this. First person shooter was the first shot. The, the, the shot coming back towards them was like that. J. Cole took it upon himself. Drake wasn't on the song. And he took it upon himself and he dissed Kendrick. Now, he only said about J. Cole in like that. He only said, fuck the big three. It's just big me. He never dissed J. Cole. He said, fuck the big three. It's just big me. Right? Now, I understand that J. Cole said it, it, uh, it's the big three between them. And, and he also said, he also said, I'm Muhammad Ali, which means he's saying Drake and, and Kendrick, they're the big three, but I'm still the greatest out of the three. So he basically, basically dissed Kendrick too. Right? But the thing is, most of those lines in that and like that was directed towards Drake. You know what I'm saying? Was directed towards Drake. That's it. And then when you did that, he addressed you in euphoria, but he really didn't even address you like that in euphoria. He just said, Cole and Arby, no. You know what I'm saying? The crown is heavy. So he basically responded to you saying you Muhammad Ali, but he was saying, nah, the crown is heavy. You know what I'm saying? And I, I pray that my, they my real friends. If not, why I'm telling you, you know, you know the bars. Y'all know the bars. But I'm just saying, for him, for them to say that J. Cole, J. Cole, he doesn't do none of this. He's it's genuine with him, but the rest of them is clicks and likes. But he was the one that started. Come on, bro. Y'all gotta chill. You stand on your pen. Kendrick went at Cole. He shit it on his bar, on his only number one record. Yeah, let's 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 replay how this thing started. Kendrick shit it on your bar, Jermaine, and I love Cole. Let me put that out there. Like I don't. It don't look like it though. I, like I, 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 I it ain't about what it, it looked like. It's about what I'm telling you. I love Cole. <laughs> I, I, yo, yo, they they feel. <laughs> yo, she is in her feelings, crazy. Oh my God, bro. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. We don't know none of these niggas, man. And this is me speaking as a podcaster. We don't know none of these niggas. We don't. Why y'all getting so upset? It's like, come on, bro. Y'all getting so upset because Jermaine got caught. He got caught. And it's like, oh, you don't see. He's like, I, I love you. It don't seem like it. Like, was he criticizing the man? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, my God. I believe Maul does love any, him. Anything he says from now on, I don't believe him. I don't want to hear it. I don't believe it. It don't land the same. Wait, because right. when it was time, because if we go I back, believe to the, him. If we go back to the tapes, the first thing I said when this whole shit started was, I'm more impressed to see what Cole does because we've never seen Cole battle tested. Mm -hmm. He did say that. He did say that. He did say. He did say that. Even though he's a glazer, he did say that. You got. We have to give him that. We listen, everybody in the chat. I know y'all don't like Maul. I don't like Maul either. When it comes to this, you know what I'm saying. I don't know him personally, but I'm talking about media shit. We don't like him. I don't like him media-wise. I don't know him personally. I'm just going to keep that out there. But look, we all know that he's speaking facts right now. Can't, we can't get around that. That was one of the first things I said. I want to see how Cole performs under these lights because we've never seen it. We've never seen him perform under these lights where it was a battle and somebody was going at him and <laughs> testing his pen. Kendrick shit. Yo, they quiet as shit. <laughs> Yo, they quiet as shit. <laughs> and on your bar, you're the one that said big three and all of this. Is it K-Dot? Is it Aubrey? Is it me? You did that. He shitted on your bar. And for a hot second, you stood on your pen and you put out 
a, a verse and had bars directed towards him. But then all of a sudden, in the famous words of Trump, he went another way. <laughs> he backed out. <laughs> Yo, this shit is classic, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> he went another way. <laughs> Bro, oh my God. I don't know if him and Kendrick had a personal conversation. Kendrick gave him, you know, told him what he was about to say about Drake, this, that, and the third, and he was like, oh, nah, I'm, I'm cool. Well, we were, remember, we were told that Schoolboy Q told Cole that Whatever was said, personal, whatever was just, said, yeah. if I, Rory, if I go on tour with you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, we're in Toronto you, next week. Toronto next weekend. Okay. Next week. All right. You put, mil 17th. you put millions of dollars in my pocket. Mm -hmm. You give me my first number one song. Okay. You think that another rapper could say something about me and you and I don't bomb on that nigga? Uh, I mean, I, in my position, I I'm, would say yes. I'm asking you a question. Do you think that if you take me on tour mm -hmm. and you put millions of dollars in my pocket, mm -hmm. you give me my first number one song and a rapper shits on the bar... Where I, I, big, I bigged them up. I gave them props. I put, them, I put us in the same, we the, we the best three in this shit. Mm -hmm. and we, and it, uh, but you got to, come on, come on, Maul. Come on, Maul. You got to tell the whole story. And I don't understand why they not calling him out on this one. Maul, you got to tell the whole story. He said, he said, we the big three, like we started the league. <clears throat> um, uh, is it K-Dot? He said, is it K-Dot, Aubrey, or me? We the big league, like we started the league. But right now, I'm feeling like Muhammad Ali. He's basically saying he's better than both of them because we all know Muhammad Ali is the greatest. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta throw that bar in here because it, 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 it kind of like, it kind of like explains it a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. Go at him. I ain't throw no shots at him. Show them love. And that, that rapper shits on my bar. Our song. Mm -hmm. He did. He did. You think that he did, I he did? He did throw a shot at him. He threw a shot at both of them actually. He did. With the continual part of that bar, Muhammad Ali, he did throw a bar at both. He took a shot at both of them. If you say we started the big league, he said uh, we the big three, like we started the league. But right now, I'm feeling like Muhammad Ali. How does that not a shot at the other two? Basically saying like I'm the greatest out of all of these niggas. You know what I'm saying? If we had a team, I'm Michael Jordan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be honest, bro. Like, and I think, I think Maul's doing a really good job. I ain't going to lie. He's doing a good job. He's doing a good job today. I got to give him this props. I would, you think that I'm going to just run home and act like it ain't a war outside? Well, I think that's a separate combo, which I'm happy to have. That's just a whole new topic. Yes, I could see Drake being upset that Cole did that. I'm not, I'm not, we're not it, talking about Drake. We're not oh, talking about Drake. About? I'm asking you, he, he, do he, you think. I know exactly what he's saying. He's saying, he's saying that. If if uh, when it comes down to it, J. Cole definitely was the one who should have took a shot first. I, I understand exactly what he's saying. Mm -hmm. If you take me on tour and put millions of dollars in my pocket and give me my first number one song and a rapper shits on that number one song, you think that I'm not going to engage in a, in, a, in a back and forth with this dude? I would think so, yes. And that's all I'm saying here. So now don't give me this long voice note because you know Drake ain't fucking with you. Now you want to give us the voice note that you could have sent to Drake yourself. We didn't have What's to. What's wrong with that? Nah, I would love to hear I don't this need music. It. I want to hear all this shit. I don't want it. That's personal shit. Tell, call Drake you know, and text him. The whole beef was personal shit. Tell what are we Drake. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is great. Yo, look. So look, I understand exactly what Maul is saying. And I said this in my last video yesterday. Like, you could have said that to Drake yourself. And that's how I know that it's, it's really Drake ain't fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? Because... Something probably did happen, and you want to let Drake know, just like how LeBron would happen with LeBron. You just want to let Drake know that y'all you still cool with him. It's a sympathy call. That was a sympathy call between between the, uh, this this th that song. That was like, okay, Drake, and bro, don't feel like that. Why you feeling like that, bro? Like why? Why you why you feel like that? I'll tell you, bro. I'll tell you what it is. I really didn't like the fact that you niggas was battling, and, and y'all both my my niggas like. And, and you more my nigga, though. I ain't gonna lie, cause you did take me on tour and you did put millions of dollars in my pocket, bro. Like you more my nigga. But you know what I'm saying? But the other nigga, man, he cool, but I mean, he ain't he really ain't my nigga like that. But I don't have a problem with him though. But, but you, you my nigga, bro. So I'm just letting you know, bro. You we we cool, bro. We cool. 
I'm letting you know. Just keep your head up, man. All that you talking on the mic and shit and the side of the in 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 that in that club, bro. We don't don't do all that shit, bro. I mean, because people look at you. That's J. Cole right now talking to Drake. That's J. Cole talking to Drake. Tell Drake, text him, send him a voice note, because you ain't spoke to him since you spoke to Kendrick. The whole point of the battle was all personal shit. What are we talking about? That's what I'm saying. We're not talking about a battle. <laughs> These are words that we know he wants to tell Drake, but he knows Drake ain't picking up the phone for him. So therefore, let so me get So he can't rap out. it? He can. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Yo, that is a fact. Look, and don't get me wrong. I could appreciate the, the rap, the bars for what they were. But again, the more I listen to it, the more it sounds like he just, it's a sympathy call. It's like, yo, man, I feel, I feel bad that Drake, Drake, Drake saying nobody his friend. And I don't want to let him know that I ain't betray him. That's, that's what it feels like. It feels like he was letting Drake know, listen, bro, I ain't betray you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And him and Drake probably didn't have a, a, a full blown conversation because I'm thinking if Drake and him had a conversation about about whatever, he wouldn't have put that out and said that about Drake. That's how you know that they didn't talk because he said his name clearly in the song. And he basically saying like basically telling him to keep his head up and we still friends. I still fuck with you. All the shit you did for me, bro, I would never turn my I would never do you dirty like that. Don't ever think that we're going to stop that beef right now. So he basically telling Drake, like, whoever's talking to you, bro, wherever you get your information from, we stopping that right now. Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that guy. I've been trying to get in contact with you, you ain't been answering. So maybe you'll listen through the song. And obviously Drake did because he liked the post. So he heard it. You know what I'm saying? But I think I, me personally, I think Drake is hurt because J. Cole is a freelancer. He's gonna do whatever he wants. He's gonna rap and go wherever you wanna go. But I believe Drake. Drake likes to collect friends. He likes to collect people. And he wants people to stay on his side. Even, even if he don't support you as much, or he might support you, but Drake believes that because he's Drake, that that's enough. That's, that's what I believe he believes. Because I'm Drake, it's enough. That's enough. I don't need to do anything else. I'm Drake. You know what I'm saying? I did this for you. I did this. He, he says that in his songs. So he thinks because he's the biggest star that that's all that matters. J. Cole is a little bit different because J. Cole is, he's about friendship, but he also doesn't take a lot of this stuff serious like Drake does. You know what I'm saying? You can tell because he, he just don't, he just don't take a lot of this stuff serious. He just raps. I think that if, if I understand what, what Maul is saying, but you also got to talk to the point that if he, if he's, if he did a song with so-called Drake ops, I can understand why Drake would feel that way. You know what I'm saying? But you got to understand why J. Cole feel that way because J. Cole doesn't really care about it. He don't care about the beef. He don't. I don't care to hear this shit. <laughs> I don't care what you or Drake thinks about it when I want to hear Jermaine Cole rap about what happened the last not, three months. We're not talking about, we're talking about the scope of if you and your friend are rappers and then another rapper jumps in on some song that you and him got that's number one, shits on your bar, you look like you want to fight, but then you're like, nah, I don't want to fight. You go home. Mm -hmm. Months later, you kick, and you still, and th th here's the thing, you still rapping. So why not just engage in the fucking battle? You ain't stopped rapping since. And I'm saying, you're saying a separate point. What I'm explaining to you is the that, answer to your question. That's true. He that's true. That's true. Why did he really, why did he back out? That's the question that I think a lot of us not really asking. He said what he said, but what's the real reason why he backed out? Why was the real reason? Like, what was, what, why was the real? What was the real reason Jermaine Cole backed out this battle? Let me know in the comments. I want to know. What, what do you, outside of what he said, let me know what do y'all think was the real reason why J. Cole backed out the battle? Because to me, to me, I think he backed out because he was scared. And that's why he keeps reverting back to his pen being fire because he looks at it like my pen is my pen is this, my pen is that. But I think that when it comes to Kendrick, he knows that he knows that there's no ceiling with that nigga. He knows that. And I think he didn't want to. The thing is, Kendrick Lamar was ready to take on J, uh, J. Cole and Drake at the same time. He was ready to fight both of them. He said it in the song Euphoria. You know what I'm saying? He was ready to go at both of them. So I think that, I think J. J., J. Cole didn't want to do that back and forth thing. 
He didn't want to do that. And on top of that, I do believe that J. Cole is a sentimental guy and he has he has feelings that he didn't want to really ruin a friendship with either one of them. You know what I'm saying? Or somewhat of a friendship. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. Explain why he didn't want to do the fucking battle. But you did. <laughs> you put if, if, if Cole never put out a record, so never put right out a bar. I, I gotta stop it. They so salty. I never seen nothing like this. I never seen nothing like this. They're they, they're so salty right now. They're so salty. <laughs> I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be talking about this. I'm like, yo, listen, he ain't want to get into it. Cool, but you put a record out. Well, if he didn't address any of this, you'd kill him for not addressing. No, I'm, how? I'm not. I don't even speak on Cole unless he puts a verse on. I'm like, nah, that was dope. He can still rap, but all that best rapper out, best rap, you get, you never wear that title again. I don't give a fuck. You can put out the most flawless verse we've ever heard, and you're never getting the best rapper title from me. What does because that have when to do it was with this? Tom, because when it <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, this is classic. Yes, yes, I agree 100%. I agree. You could never, ever, 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 ever say you're the best rapper alive. You can't. As long as Kendrick Lamar is walking this planet, you cannot say that you're better than him. You can't. He took that from you and Drake. He snatched that shit from both of y'all. He came in and said, fuck the big three. It's just big me. Give me this shit. Go sit down. You better apologize. And I'm going to kick this nigga ass. That was it. There was nothing else to it. Time to show that you was the best rapper. You told us you couldn't sleep. And you went home. <laughs> okay. So I don't want to hear none of these. I don't believe none of these bars. Don't tell me we wanted blood. We didn't want blood. We wanted to see the, the people that we thought was the best engage in a we rap battle. We didn't want y'all to fight. Yo, and this is crazy. <laughs> Why she got her hand up, bro? Oh, my God, bro. I've never seen that like this. Why she got her hand up? She fine, though. I ain't going to lie. She is very beautiful. She's a beautiful woman. God damn, she's beautiful. She fine as hell, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but she got her hand up. I don't know if she got her hand up because she's stretching, but she got her hand up for something. But yeah, let's keep it going. People to get shot in, nobody asked for that. What is this, they want blood? No, we don't. Uh, go ahead, Damaris, and I'll address this blood part. <laughs> I, just, I have so many points. The first one, the saying of, uh, I just took you on tour and put millions in your pocket and gave you your first number one. Y'all talking like Cole was like some opening like act from like That's not what he was saying. <laughs> Yo, he went way over y'all head. That's not what he was saying. He's saying that if I took you on tour and I gave you your first million and a nigga shitted on you, why you shouldn't me personally, he's saying from his perspective, if it was him and Rory, he wouldn't have backed out. He would have kept going. He wouldn't have left you out there. That's what he's saying. He essentially saying that J. Cole, he started it out, he started out dissing uh, Drake, uh, Kendrick. And then he backed out and let Drake do it all by himself. That's basically what he's saying. He's saying that, okay, you the one with the better pin, right? You the one with the best pin out of all of them, right? You the one that's the best. You're claiming that you're the best rapper alive, right? You're the greatest. You're Muhammad Ali. So why, when it came to this dude, why you back out? That's what he's saying. Y'all taking it the wrong way. Like talking, no, nobody's that's talking like part. that, man. And now I'm about to like, start yelling because that's not what we're talking about. You sitting up here saying he it's took a him fact. on tour. He took him on tour. He put millions of dollars in his pocket. It's a fact. And you don't think that that was reciprocal at all. You think that he just took like some random just niggas, like some random nigga that had no value. You what think that Drake took somebody about, on tour that doesn't put about? any value because you Nobody talking, like, said that. But if that's Drake how you're talking. You tour, okay, well, I'm We don't have to talk about that fact. If Drake takes you on tour, you have value. We know that. I think Cole wanted to do that for some fly shit. I don't think Cole needed the money. They did. Who they did B markets. They did like Orlando. Y'all are away on the other side of this argument. That is not what he's saying. <laughs> Y'all trying to validate why he, why he took him on tour and he he wanted to go because he didn't need the tour. That is not what he's saying. He's not saying that. He's saying that in the moment of need, the nigga backed out after he did everything for this nigga when he needed him to help him or whatever. He backed out. That's what he's saying. <laughs>
Who shit, no offense to mean? Orlando, but it's they didn't even a major market. Yo, that was are, two friends having fun. Y'all are crazy, dog. <laughs> Who said he needed money? Who said that? Okay, well, you talking like he did. Yeah, you, you act like that's that. a stat he in this whole thing. He took him on tour and put millions in your pocket. You talking like he needed the money. That's what you saying. He took him on tour and put millions in your pocket. If I don't need the millions and you put millions in my pocket, like, why does that matter? If I have millions and you put a couple <laughs> extra, like, what are you talking about? If I got millions. <laughs> yo, I swear, these... Yo, I, look, look, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It's two fan bases that get, well, actually, there's a couple of them, but I'm gonna just name two. It's two fan bases that get real emotional, real emotional. And that is, and, I, and, and that's J. Cole and that's Drake fans. Now, the thing is, I know I get a lot of people saying that Kendrick fans are, are, are emotional. No, they're not. Kendrick fans are realistic. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, <clears throat> I think a lot of people saying, well, come, uh, uh, Kendrick is like a messiah. He, uh, Kendrick carries himself different from these niggas. And you'll never see Kendrick. Get, I said this to my boy the other day. You'll never see Kendrick get on the mic and say he's sorry. You'll never get that from out of him. You'll never see. Matter of fact, you probably will never even hear Kendrick speak on this unless it's something that has to do with music. He won't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? He don't even do interviews. It's like these niggas. Yo, I'm. Oh, my God. This is great. So you give me a couple extra. But I'm saying, but what are you talking about? But you acting like he didn't that earn her. that money. Like that's a handout. You talking like it's a handout? That's Who not said a handout. That was too a list. That is not what the man is saying. He is definitely not saying that. You are taking this. You're trying to use that to validate. Try to validate him and Drake uh, uh, going on tour. He's not talking about that. He's talking about. He's talking about friendship. He's talking about. You can't claim that you're my friend, and then you back out, and then you come back. And say, well, look, this nigga was doing this and this was doing that. That's what he's saying. Shit crazy. Crazy. Shit crazy, man. Crazy. Let's keep it going. To the facts. To have a moment, I'm which is speaking great. to the facts. I'm speaking to the facts. He went on tour. He made millions of dollars with somebody. Mm -hmm. And another rapper shitted on your only number one song. The bar that you put in that song, mm -hmm. and then you you swing, didn't hit as hard as you thought you would, but you swung, and then you decide, no, nah, I don't want to fight. What is that energy? What is that? <laughs> so oh, you're saying, is, you're yo, that is a hundred percent. Listen, I know niggas hate this nigga. I know niggas don't like this nigga. But look, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. What he just said is exactly what happened. You can't get around that. And again. I you already know I don't like I don't I don't know this nigga personal. I don't like his views on on Drake and Kendrick. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? But I will say he's speaking facts on this topic right here. That's exactly what happened. You know what I'm saying? And you backed off. You you swung and you missed, or you swung and hit, and you punched the nigga in his shoulder. You thought you you thought you had a chin shot, and you punched him in his shoulder. You missed and hit him in his shoulder, and then you say, oh, "I'm sorry, bro. I didn't mean to do that." You know what I'm saying? Mo, you're saying blood. You really think he was actually talking about people harming each other? No. I don't what he was know talking about was blood. About. Is someone is now called a pedophile? That's what he's referring to. Bro, Do you remember when we did the interview bro, with the Washington bro, Post? Bro, bro, bro. Listen, hear me out. Hear me, listen, out. Listen, no, no, hear me out. Hear me out. Because I don't want to yell. Because I don't want niggas. It's to, okay I'm, to yell. I'm not, no, it's not okay to yell. What I'm saying is simply this: J. Cole, one of the best rappers we've ever had, no doubt about it. But when it comes to being called the best ever, the best right now. None of that shit gets no validation no more. That's because when it's time for the best to show that they're the best, what they do is they show that they're the best. He, if the best comes at you as an MC, which I believe Cole is, you stand on your MC pin. Okay. And you have said that, mm. and I've agreed with you, and I have. I don't, <laughs> I don't think y'all can get around that, bro. I don't, Rory, Rory and the girl and the other guy, I know y'all J. Cole fans to the fullest, but y'all can't get around that. You cannot get around what he just said, bro. That is 100% facts. You cannot claim you the best rapper ever again. Because when the time to show that you were the best rapper, even though I believe you did set it off first, y'all set it off, you know what I'm saying, with, with, with first person shooter, and I think that's the reason why Kendrick came off the porch, you had a chance to go at him with Drake. You and Drake could have went at him, which it still would have probably been the same outcome. I'm not going to lie. He probably would have had a little bit of, maybe a little bit of friction with J. Cole. No trouble. Just a little friction. You know what I'm saying? But outside of that, uh-uh. Kenny don't play. Kenny don't play that.
You know what I'm saying? Kenny don't play that. And they know Kenny don't play that. And J. Cole knew Kenny didn't play that. But now he's trying to come back and tell and, and let Drake know that, yeah, there was some there was some things that some box that happened and memes that happened and they called my man this and that. But I'm letting you know, Drake, we still cool, bro. He went to the bro side of Drake. You're gonna let this go. Sound like you I, agree with me. Let, let me finish. <laughs> I have no issue with anyone that feels a way towards Cole and him being the best because he backed out of a battle. I'm not here to argue that. If you view it that way, I actually completely understand your, your, your perspective. Now, do you remember when you and I did the Washington Post uh, interview? No. Right after the battle. Mm, yeah. We had just got back from vacation. Washington Post interviewed us about what was going on. And we both were discussing, as much as we liked the Kendrick and Drake back and forth, we do kind of need to reassess where we're at with battling, because if these things are true that are being said, this is a separate conversation. This isn't whose baby mother got fucked. This isn't who's more gangster. This isn't who has more goons. This line crossed, and it may be a time to evaluate what the fuck we're doing in rap battles when pedophilia comes in, because if someone pulls someone's- But wait a minute, wait a minute. See, I'm gonna tell y'all this, right? <clears throat> Here's the thing. He didn't, and I know, I know, I know a lot of y'all might might, might uh, disagree with me, but I'm gonna say this: He didn't directly call Drake a pedophile. He 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 said, "Trying to strike a chord in this probably a minor," and he said, "Baka got a real case while I see the round certified love boy certified pedophiles." He never said Drake was a pedophile. You know what I'm saying? Never said that in that song. Now I have to scan a. Uh, uh, what's the name? I have to scan um, uh, Meet the Grams because I believe he did kind of allude to that or say something like uh, they be streamlining and calling them tender. You know what I'm saying? But in that song, he didn't directly call him a pedo. Let's just be honest. He didn't. But here's the thing. The reason why that happened is because Drake started saying that that's very disrespectful. And it's, and it's to me, it's on the same lines. You're attacking a female who has nothing to do with the battle. And you're saying that his manager or his best friend, that's his baby of his child, of, his, of, of, of Whitney's baby is his best friend's baby. And they still work together, which is weird that you would say that. And so let's say, for instance, that it happened. But they still work together, which means they already passed that point, right? Let's just say that happened. Let's say Dave Free is the, the father. But they must have had communicated that and left it, let it go. And they still cool. But it doesn't, to me, that just doesn't seem right or doesn't work like that. How can that happen? How can Dave Free and, and Kendrick still be cool after he found out he was messing with his longtime sweetheart from high school or whatever? That just, to me, it just doesn't sound correct. So, Roy, you're being disingenuous by saying that because, number one, uh, Drake did say something nefarious before Meet the Grams. None of this was even said before Meet the Grams. He literally warned him over and over again. We can keep it a friendly fade. You should keep it that way. I know some shit like that make Gunner 1 look like a saint. Like, he, he was saying, like, I know some shit, bro. He warned him. Even in 616 in L.A., he, right before Drake dropped the, and, and he, he dropped that song right before Drake dropped the joint. It's survival, survival. I think somebody lying. Smell somebody lying. I don't see no fire. So he already been saying this to this boy before he even got to that point. Have you ever thought that OVO is made working for me? Fake bully, I hate bullies. You must be a terrible person. Everyone in your crew is wishing that you deserve it. He was telling him before they even got to that point. Roy, come on, bro. You know that. Arden says they're not gangster. Cool. Who gives a fuck? That's rap music. Pedophile's different. No, I know. We, no, had, we not... discussed that with the Washington Post. No. Now I'm saying Cole is saying the exact same shit you and I have agreed with. I don't want to part. This isn't rap battle anymore. Y'all have taken this shit to a whole nother level. So but this, but see, but see again... Y'all are being so disingenuous. He said the song, he said this 
Cole said this after the whole thing happened. But before all this, before he even heard Euphoria, before he heard Meet the Grams, before he heard 616 LA, before he heard Not Like Us, he backed out. But this happened before. He, he backed out before the songs even came out. So for you to even say, oh, he's saying that they taking it to another level. They bended. The, he, the song already was uh, made after that. You can't just use that now. You can't say, oh, I, you saying it now that you didn't want to um you you didn't want to participate because it was going left, but it wasn't going left in the beginning unless you heard what Drake said and you said, nah, I can't participate in that. Unless you heard all the Kendrick songs, you can't say, nah, I can't participate in that. But you ain't you ain't do that. Because the first push-ups and um and um and 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 and, and, and euphoria, those are the first two joints. Well, we we would say uh, we would say first two joints, but there wasn't he was, there was no pedophilia mentioned in on those, and he said something about Whitney, but he just said I'd be with some bodyguards like Whitney. That was it. He ain't say he ain't say what's the name now. We all know that that's a double entendre because he's saying like Whitney. Did, some people were saying that Whitney was messing with his bodyguard. He was I'd be with some bodyguard like Whitney. You know what I'm saying? So we know he was saying or double entendre would be Whitney Houston. Uh, it's actually a triple entendre. That's pretty fire. Triple entendre. Whitney Houston was with the bodyguard and she was actually with the bodyguard and with the bodyguard. You know what I'm saying? So we get that. But this happened before J. Cole. Now J. Cole is saying that he didn't want to be a part of it. He walked away with his with their blood on it. No, you didn't, dog. You backed out the battle before they even started. How you gonna say you walked away with, with, your, with the blood on your, your blood on you? Get the Nah, bro, I'm not. I'm not rolling. Somebody got called a pedophile. I don't want to participate in this shit. This I don't is, give a fuck who's a Rory, better rapper. Rory, 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 Rory. He What's about fucking kids? Rory, like Rory, he called him a pedophile way after J Cole took the song back. Yes, what are you oh talking God, about right now? Bro. Because I'm sure J Cole. Because, yes, bro. Yes. Oh my God, bro. I can't believe this. Yes. Ball is exactly right. He did, bro. You got to be honest, Rory. You got to be honest. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, that that was coming. So and that's my point in all of this. Yeah. You if I find this? out y'all are going that route. Uh, way bro. after J. Cole took the song back. What are you talking about right now? Because I'm sure J. Cole because knew that that was coming. So and that's my point in all of this. <laughs> yeah. You if I find this? out y'all. <laughs> I'll tell you, bro. Yo, I never seen that like this, bro. J. Cole fans are probably worse than Drake fans, bro. They probably worse in their delusion. She said, because he knew that was coming. How did you know that was coming? He never, he never mentioned that. He even said it in Euphoria. Keep it a friendly fade. We should keep it that way. He never said anything about him messing with children in Euphoria. Not one thing. Not one thing. You know what I'm saying? He said, he said, he said pop you popping ass and all that stuff. That was it. But he never said anything about him messing with no kids. <laughs> Bro, this is crazy work. Oh my god! <laughs> like going that route, oh, peace. Right, but the, the good, thing, the good thing of a song like this is, right. and this is what I love. Where, whereas, not to take a shot at Drake, but it's gonna sound like shade. Drake has been posting on his Instagram story, and we've been dissecting shade for the last three months or so. Cole put it all on a fucking record and spoke exactly how he feels. So instead of hypothetically, just read the fucking lyrics. They're here in front of us. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A, uh, I'm gonna keep it going. I'm gonna keep it going. I, I was gonna end it there, but I'm. I, I, I'm curious about what uh, what they got. What, what else they gotta say? He says, "My friends went to war. I walked away with all the blood on me. Now some will dis no, now some will discredit me. Try to wipe away my blood. pedigree, Maul. Uh, but please find a nigga on 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 blood find a nigga out me. that's rapping this wasn't incredibly. Even outside. What and blood I finished you the lyrics. Me? My dog texted me. I'll share the words Yo, we know the he lyrics. said to me. We, we, we read this. If you refute, this is we where got it. Got the, the this is important. This is why this is what we're talking about. Send that to Drake. I don't want to hear that." Yo, oh man, this is great. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Well, then I'm talking the to The majority Rory. of this wasn't even to Drake. The majority of this man. was to the fans. Two yeah. lines said, were to if, Drake. If you no, refuse to shoot the gun, don't mean the gun ain't deadly. Ooh. I guess in that oh. metaphor, hypothetically, the gun is me. He's the gun. Remember, we're not Who's talking about bullet? literal blood. Damn, bullet. you don't sound really objective right now man, at fuck all. Fuck this shit. Nobody want to hear this shit, man. <laughs> Everybody wants to. Yo, oh my God, bro! The Drake and the, the Drake fans and the Kendrick—I mean, the uh, the Drake and Cole fans 
when they go at it, boy, woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> oh my God, bro. I'm gonna end it right there, man. I don't wanna hear no more, bro. I don't want to hear no more. I really don't. I mean, I, I think, you know, let's keep it going. Let's Here, keep nobody want to hear this shit. If you refuse I've had to shoot repeat the gun. All day. If, of course you did. I if you refuse to shoot the gun. You shot the gun, nigga. You responded. What are we talking about here? What are we talking about? He shot the gun. And then is now explaining <laughs> why he backed out. And I'm, I'm man, not here to man, argue with you. Nobody want to hear that shit, man. <laughs> you shot the gun. Yo, At if Cole you never, shot. if Cole never addressed any of this shit, you would call him out for not addressing no, I wouldn't. it. He I'm explained calling, what- I'm calling him out you for exactly what I'm calling him out about. You can't shoot the gun, AKA put out a diss record, and then say, nah, you know what, I'm cool. What? <laughs> Nigga, he went at you, he went at your bar. He shit it on your bar. We've had that so, conversation for the last however many- <laughs> Yo, this is, uh, uh, yeah, that's it, bro. I'm ending it, bro, I'm ending it, that's it. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Good morning, man. Good morning. That was a great episode, man. Listen, man. He's right, though. I got to give him all his props on that. He's right. You can't shoot the gun and then try to say you ain't you 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 ain't you ain't shooting the gun or you ain't shoot the gun. You can't be like, oh yeah, I mean, you guys had your blood. You ain't no bro. You ain't walk away with no blood. Your your friend's blood on you. No, you didn't. You didn't participate. You you shot and then backed out. So what happened? Well, you did participate. You participated and you you uh, forfeited. That's what you did. So, no, we're not trying to hear that. You know what I'm saying? It was a great record, though. You know what I'm saying? But when you break it down, you see how much of a hypocrite he is. He's a manipulator just like Drake when it comes to certain things. I don't think he's a total manipulator, but I think with this situation, he's a manipulator. He's been manipulating people. So, either way, man, I'm out of here. 12 o'clock show coming up. I'll see y'all, man. Y'all have yourself a good morning. Peace. Bye. <laughs>